<laughs> ah. Show of hands who honestly thought that there was a strong possibility that we might have seen Reese Nelson in the World Cup qualifier squad. <laughs> I'm being honest. <laughs> Reese Nelson trick way. Yeah, in trick way. Anyways, big up on yourself, people. Smash the like button, hit the subscribe button. We're gonna discuss um Reese Nelson. Um just a short video, basically. Um with the expectations that we might see something after. But anyways, big up on yourself, people. Smash the like button, hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much again for tuning in. Massive, massive respect, people. All the time, every time. Hopefully, you guys are doing good. So, before you do anything, please make sure you share the content. Hit the like button. Because I realize it. Well, now, nah, like, still, a high percentage of my subscribers. No, a low percentage of my subscribers them actually watch a video. And high percentage of pure persons who are see video, see channel for the first time. So since you are seed for the first time, why not just subscribe? Anyways, all right. So <clears throat> we all know this situation in the past about two three weeks. No more two weeks since the, the ending of the English Premier League. See me ask it. Put more media players, players, hot people. See when the end of the Premier League, um, Arsenal close season close off, and Reece Nelson decided to put up one picture, said. Me in our hometown. <laughs> me in our hometown. That in that I message to the reggae boys supporters. Me in our hometown. You know, on social media. I'm going like on to know football. I don't know how I'm going to support. You no? Know? But we now know hometown. Me now know hometown now. Yeah. So that I message I'm sent to, to the reggae boys. And you know what? I never and, and if and not the reggae boys supporters, they must send the message. You just put it up on the page. But we, the reggae boy supporters in the diaspora and in Jamaica, <laughs> we had gone. No, I'm not one of them. I'm not going to take myself out there. I'm one of them. Let me tell you why. When you are a sports supporter, you support a team, right? Whenever you see this, these high profile athletes who kind of, who can represent you, who look like they're going to represent you, your expectations and your hopes and your everything, everything just sky, skyrocket because they say yes. It look like say we spot on the one yeah. <laughs> it look like we spot on the one yeah. but unfortunately that's not the case. But when you see them something there, you get a little spike there, a good feeling. They say yeah, something good will happen. This is something that you want to see. You want to enjoy the sport in this way. It's a part of being a fan and a supporter of a team. Nothing at all is wrong with that. This, these are things that we as fans do. These are things that we understand. Even in my video, I said that I said that in, in, in some of the video, videos that I do, when I show they are the all over the place, I said, I would love for him to come. We still don't sure if he's here to represent. That's, that's one of the constant things out of every other video. Them. That the constant thing is that no one was sure if he's here to represent. And the squad has been released. Squad has been released, and he's not in the squad. Big disappointment, yes, to many people. But at the end of the day, we saw a brink of light where that is concerned. And I can't tell people how to support their team. <laughs> that is the truth. I can't tell people how to, how to support their team. Um, I can say, you know what? I don't think this is right, but it don't necessarily mean say so I can tell people how to do it. But at the end of the day, we were very much happy and supportive to see um, Reese Nelson, especially in Jamaica, then now putting, up the, putting on the, the Jamaica um, um, gear, holding up six, tagging Leon Bailey in it, Leon, Bo Leon Bailey also re reposting it and putting a Jamaican flag there. So all them something they know, it kind of get the supporters excited. And nothing at all is wrong with that. Not, nothing is wrong with that. I do though, I do honestly believe that um if the chance if a chance occur, I strongly believe that the Jamaican supporters will be uh, um very, very happy about it because he's a quality a quality player, he's a talented player, a talented youngster, and we would love to see him in, in the team. Nonetheless, as I say, I'm trick way. <laughs> all of the incense went drop, all of the little subliminal message went drop, and apparently it never worked out. But me can tell you. When the Copa America squad set for drop, 
Yeah, I go see a lot of people are, are, are scruffed up and run down and say, yo, this that rated it. So, the hopes might rise again for the Copa America squad. And this happens for every squad <laughs> unveiling. For every single squad unveiling, the same things happen over and over again. And the thing is, you know, you think you get bored, not bored of it, but you're actually not. You're not going to get bored of it because that feeling you get inside of, of hope. Because we love football and we, you watch football every year, every day. Sometimes, so, so, some people watch lower level football, sometimes people watch many different football. But because, because the love you have with football, you won't get bored of it. You enjoy um, doing these things. It gives you a little buzz feeling. They say, yeah, something happened. And sometimes what it does, the truth is sometimes what football does, it takes you away from the stresses of life and all the, the, the issues them. And it puts you in a place where, even though it's not the reality, reality realm, but it puts you in a place where you have some form of comfort, something to look forward to, something positive in life to look forward to. And sometimes the truth is even our YouTube videos that we do, it keeps people going. It keeps a lot of persons going. As morning light, me don't know about nobody else. But as morning light, me go so boom, flick up my phone, <clears throat> which new video job. Ryan, um, Manning's man, coach. And the, young, the new, new YouTubers, new YouTubers are coming. Presser, Gunners. I'm just a, just a scroll I got through. Me, if you see who drop something new, if you listen, hear what I say. You know, even if me agree, agree, yes or no. But I just, I just, that's the nature of, 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 of the business. For me personally, me, me really listen back, listen back my, me don't like, me don't know, me, me really listen back my content. Um, but me love listening to other content creators. I like to hear their thoughts. I like to, to, to understand where the, the points you're coming from. As me say, agree yes or no. But back to Reese Nelson. This is just the nature of being a fan, especially we as YouTubers are, and being a YouTuber does not, or being a YouTuber, or being an analyst does not take away the fun, the fun part of you. What it can do, what it do, what it does though, it make you have a bit more balanced um, understanding, a bit more balanced concept towards the football. But when it comes to good news surrounding your team, sometimes the fandom kind of come out a little bit more. I mean, I like when the recent start doing them something there, me they kind of get um, over excited. I'm just not settle myself. You know, MG, you see this? Hey, I'm trying to MG. You see them something already, mate. You're, you're supposed to know about them something here. But when you see, <laughs> so when me see him say, in a home, you know, home town, in first picture drop, and him, him take a picture, I uh, show say, and tag it say, in Jamaica. He say, all right. I'm say, calm down, calm down. It could be that he just depend on vacation. You know, it could be just depend on vacation. I'm say, all right. So I'm going to look at one video, say, you know, same day, I place one, right, te, 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 te. But, <laughs> you got to do it. You got to put up one picture, in a reggae boy's jersey. I go go, so, June 6th, <laughs> now, sir, me, pff, me lose it, me lose it. So run, run, come on YouTube. We're gonna do our next video. Yeah, that's that is it, people. So it's fun. It's fun, people. It's very, it's fun. It's fun and enjoyable. You gotta have a people. You know you have a spoilers. Them the people who love spoil party. Nitro, Cyan Hall. Yeah, we love, we love spoil party. Anyways, hopefully the fun restarts again when the Copa America squad for drop. <laughs> Anyways. Ah, uh, Reese Nelson, you're tricky, but we still have to see what I go on. Until next time, we'll see what I go on with the one there. Big up on yourself, no people. Um, smash the like button. Remember, pre-game show. Pre-game show on June 6th um, at, the, at the National Stadium. We're going to find one little spot. We can set up a tent, do a little football juggling, little interviews. Um, what else? Giveaways. Probably get some tickets to give away as well. We're going to give, give away... Um, uh, some Vuvuzela. I'll give out this one up a giveaways, people. So make sure someone come out. So if you not come my game, come early, come take part in a day in a, in a the pre-game show. But I really look, appreciate to have it. It's gonna be live from on YouTube. It's gonna be live on YouTube, people. So it's gonna be interesting to see the other one they go. Anyways, big up on yourself, people. Smash like button, hit subscribe button. Um, link in the description, buy us a coffee if you feel like, no problem at all. Link is also in the pinned comment section. Like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys again. Until next time. Reese Nelson, out of our hometown. We're going to have this case again. Until we confirm, say, you know what? Nah, come. Until. <laughs> Until then. Anyways, um, I have more videos to do. Omar Hutchinson. That one is ticking. Big up on yourself, people. MG Sports TV. We're out. God bless. Boom. Enjoy the day. In a them hometown. <laughs>